In November 2012, the 8th Harassis Global China Business Meeting took place in Riga, Latvia. This event gathered an audience of 400 entrepreneurs and government officials. The meeting engaged participants to provide a holistic and timely perspective in the future direction for China. Global China Business Meeting was supported by corporate partners, selected companies that contributed their expertise and resources. One of the partners and co-organizers of the event was the leading provider of electronic communication services in Latvia, Lat Telecom. They made it possible to watch and participate in the meeting worldwide by providing a high-quality live stream online. The meeting was held in recognition that growth strategies within the Sino-Global framework require thought, leadership and mutually beneficial peer-to-peer -peer networks. The event was open to chief executive officers in the world's leading companies. The chief executive officer of Lat Telecom, Juris Gulbis, took the floor in several plenaries, representing the Baltic elite in IT and telecommunication services, in front of Chinese, American and European business leaders. Latvia is seen as a good place for investment and a place to start conquering the European markets. Our country offers a low tax policy, high technological expertise, knowledge of Russian and European markets, as well as experience in cooperation with China. In September 2012, Lat Telecom, along with Megaphone in Russia and the German Deutsche Telekom company, created the Baltic Highway, a new data transmission route that is the shortest way from Russia to Europe. The route will provide an alternative to the existing transit routing via the Scandinavian countries in the north and the Ukraine in the south. Lat Telecom is ready for the project to expand to China, improving the internet quality and speed of China's connection with Europe and the United States. Chinese and US economies may experience a further boom in finding the best point of China's economic cooperation with Europe. This year, for the first time in recent years, China's trade with Europe experienced a downturn. But Latvian trade with China continued to rise. This shows the potential of Latvia. Lat Telecom has the Western knowledge and experience to be a partner in Europe.